Hey everybody. Today I'm going to make uh, a special family recipe for you guys. You're gonna love it, hopefully as much as I do. It is sweet potato pie. So it's finally November, we made it, and November is the month of my most favorite holiday, Thanksgiving. I am very particular about my Thanksgiving food. Not many people are, but I am. It's a big deal. I always like to have all the traditional stuff that I'm used to having. So this is one of my favorite things to make and eat. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today so that you may make it as well. Um, now if you've never had sweet potato pie, it is different from pumpkin pie. It has, you know, like similar spices and flavor notes, but to me, sweet potato pie is, it's a lot, like silkier, it has a thicker consistency. It is um, just like a smoother flavor than pumpkin pie, and it's it's very very good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Now, um, in here, I am starting with two cups of cooked sweet potatoes. Now I cook these, I boil them. Um, I would not suggest roasting them or baking them and then scooping out the insides because you want the water content from boiling them. Uh, and also when I boil them, I don't peel them first. We've never done that. It's a lot easier. It just wash the outside really good and cut the sweet potatoes into quarters and boil them that way. And when you take them out of the water, they literally fall right out of the peel. So you don't have to spend time taking all, this, all the skin off. So time saver, it's very easy that way. Um, so here, two cups of sweet potato. Now I'm gonna link all of the ingredients, so don't worry about that. Um, I have one can, 12 ounce, evaporated milk going in. Now, I, when I was growing up, I only had homemade sweet potato pie. I had never had pumpkin pie, I think until I was maybe in middle school, like 12 or 13 years old. I remember we went to a family's house for Thanksgiving and I saw the pie and I was like, oh good, sweet potato pie, I want some. So I grabbed a piece of the pie and it just, it, it was not the same. It was not the pie that I was used to and I didn't want to be rude. I asked my mom, I came over, I was like, um, what's wrong with that pie? Something's wrong with it. And then she told me it was pumpkin pie, not sweet potato pie. So, um, I'm not telling you that story to make you think that I'm a snob about my Thanksgiving food, which I kind of am, but I'm just showing, how, I'm just highlighting how the flavor is very different. And this is so much better and you will definitely notice the difference, trust me. So, okay, so my sweet potatoes, I have my evaporated milk. I have three quarter cup of sugar. And we're gonna do about like a half a teaspoon of salt. So just like a good pinch. Bam. Now, two eggs go in here. Um, I don't know if you guys remember like a few years ago when the Patty LaBelle sweet potato pies were like the hottest thing ever. So since I've had sweet potato pie my whole life, I was like, well, I gotta try Patty's pie. I gotta see what's going on with this pie. So they're very hard to get, but a friend of mine and I, we actually were able to get one and didn't love it. Sorry, Patty, you're awesome, but the pie was just meh. <laughs> Sorry, I have to grab a paper towel or my hands. But this one will not let you guys down. Now, I have always used pumpkin pie spice in here. So the original recipe is if you have like cinnamon and ground ginger and cloves, if you have all of that in your spice cabinet, that's perfect. It, it, I'll break down all of the individual amounts in your in the recipe, but you can just replace all of the amounts with pumpkin pie spice, which is what I've always done. So it's totally cool if you do it that way too. So you need total one and three quarters teaspoon about of all of these spices. So there's one, and go a little shy on this one. One and three quarters, there we go. And that's it. That's it, all we do is mix it up Cover your ears while I mix this for just a minute. Hopefully I don't end up with this all on my shirt. All right, we did it. It just takes like a minute to mix it up. You wanna make sure it's all nice and smooth. You don't want any big chunks of sweet potatoes in there. You want a nice smooth pie. So for your crust, if you have like a homemade crust recipe that you love, 
you can use that. That's fine. I always just use store-bought because it's easy. <laughs> no need to get fancy. All right. So basically, we're just going to pour this thing in here. I have a spoon. I don't want to miss anything. All right. So this needs to cook for a while. I'm putting this in. You preheat the oven to 425. I know that seems high for a pie, but don't worry. <laughs> um, 425 for 15 minutes. And then without taking the pie out, you leave it in and then you turn it down to 350 and you leave it in there for another like 35, 40-ish minutes. So until it, you know, comes out clean with a knife. So it's going in and um, I'm going to bake this pie. I'm gonna let it cool completely and I'm going to stick it in the fridge because this pie is best served chilled. So I will come back when this is all ready to go and I'll show you guys how it turned out. Okay, so it has been a while. Uh, I baked this at uh, 425 for 15 minutes without taking it out of the oven, switched the temperature to 350 and left it in there for another about 40 minutes or so, 40, 45 minutes. And it is perfect. You'll be able to tell you can either do the toothpick test or when you check it, when you, um, if you shake it just a tiny bit, it should be pretty well set. If it's still jiggly, give it a couple more minutes, but this one is perfect. It's nice and chilled, just the way to serve it. And look at this gorgeous pie. Okay, so I am going to cut into this boy and we're gonna give it a taste. I think this is my favorite pie ever. Oh, I love this time of year because I get to eat this pie. We always used to have it for breakfast. And I still make it for breakfast because I think pie is always acceptable for breakfast, but especially on Thanksgiving. So my mom would always make two pies, like one to take wherever we were going for dinner or, you know, if we were hosting, one for dinner and then one for breakfast. So that's generally what I do. I mean, come on. Gorgeous. Now, in my opinion, the only appropriate way to eat this is with whipped cream. In the can, not Cool Whip, not homemade. Must be this. <laughs> you do you, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna try and be tame about this. Normally I cover the entire pie so you can't even see it with whipped cream, but I'll try and have a little control. Put it over the top, nice and pretty. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Favorite part, it's the best bite. Mm. Why is it so good? It's so creamy and yummy. Like the texture is outrageous. It's so good. You guys have to try for Thanksgiving or any time of the year really, but especially now, I'm gonna go eat this whole piece and there you go. Happy Turkey Day.